my wolf pack and welcome to the TBL Season 6 Week 10 battle. So, uh, yeah, we're in Week 10. This is a repeat, essentially. Uh, we have we are versing uh, the same battle, the same team we versed Week 1 with a couple of variations. And um, it's with a different coach. Um, so we're versing the Charlotte Hunch Honchcrows when we versed... Uh, I can't remember what they were originally, but it was it was the Tip Town Timbers. And we are now versing the Charlotte Honchcrows because um, there was a takeover on the team. But uh, still, this team is disgusting. It is scary. It is a problem. I do not know how uh, Quincy possibly got this team. But, you know, we're going to have a go. Uh, I'm just going to say as well, up front, I have not had time to plan. I've had a very, very, very busy week. So I've had, I think I've made, maybe took about 20 minutes to plan for this one. Uh, and I am starting because I extended the rest of the one. Uh, yeah. So we'll see what he is bringing this week. So he is bringing uh, Age of Slash, Lorantis, uh, Noivern. We've got the Oshifu and the Ninetales and the Needle Queen. Kind of what I was more expecting. A bit shocked about the Lorantis there. But uh, that isn't too terrible. I kind of want to leave with Rotom here. Um, I also kind of want to leave with, lead with extra drill. Um, I'm going to leave with extra drill because why the heck? Actually, no. Uh, do I leave with rapid dash? What does rapid dash do? do rapid, rapid dash does a lot here. Um, who is a safe play? I mean, I could. With no crest, actually, no crest is kind of huge. Um, I kind of want to leave with, with drill. Yeah, we're, we're leaving. No, we're not leaving with drill because drill's too important. We're going to leave with Rotom. 100% uh, Rotom. <laughs> I do not know what I'm doing here, um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Uh, Lorantis obviously to cover my Rotom wash there. He could definitely go for the Lorantis lead, which is a problem for me. Uh, in fact, Lorantis actually is a little bit of a problem outside of like Rapid Dash. I don't have, and I suppose Dragonite uh, kind of deals with it. Uh, we do see the Noiva, not the Terminator. Um, I feel like I got this. I do random music, and I feel like I've had this one before, but I love this music, so, you know, uh, it is an Ashifu here. Uh, it is an Ashifu, so what I want to do, I want to try and burn this thing. 100% uh, in anything that comes in, I happily burn it, so Will-O-Wisp, 100% is my choice here. Ow, I just hit my hand on the desk. <laughs> so Will-O-Wisp, 100% here. Um, he could definitely go for U-Turn here, just to kind of get a switch out into something else. Um, but... Uh, he goes for Wicked Blow here. That should hopefully not take me out. If it does, then oh my god. Uh, it doesn't take me out. It's a crit, but it's naturally a crit anyways. Uh, we get the will o -Wisp here, and we do hit it. Thank goodness. Uh, that is going to be very, very helpful. Um, obviously, Wicked Blows are going to be a problem, but... Is he Lumberry? Oh my god. That is that is some good tech. <laughs> that is definitely some good tech there. Um, annoyingly, I can't live another Wicked Blow. Uh, and I don't have anything to kind of happily survive a Wicked Blow. That is really annoying. Uh, how important is Rotom? Kind of important, but kind of not important. I think I can cope with Rotom going down. That is annoying. Like Actually, that is really good prep on his part. 100% um, really good prep. I'm just going to let Rotom go down here. Um, flat out just takes me out. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, ish. Uh, now we see if he has the Iron Head or the Poison Jab here. Um, and if he has Iron Head, I kind of am completely screwed. Uh, if he has Poison Jab, I'm kind of okay. But at the same time, he could switch out here, worried that I may be Scarf. Um, or he could be he could be choiced into something. So, you know, uh, going to go for the Dazzling Gleam here. See if it's going to hit him. He does withdraw. He does withdraw. That's a smart decision. Uh, makes me think he's potentially choice scarfed. Uh, we do see the AG Slash come in here. Uh, I do not want to deal with the AG Slash at all, so I'm going to switch out. Um, but he can definitely go for a. Uh, that was a crit. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we see leftovers. Okay. Um, I kind of wish I'd gone Berry Berry. I kind of wish I'd gone Berry, but. You know. Uh. I kind of want to go to Rapidash here. But I think Rapidash is more important than... Does he have any anything that can stop me from Earthquaking? He does have um, the Noivern. 
I guess Spirit Team is too valuable. Uh, I think I want to go into Drill here. He, def he definitely can go for a um, a sword stance here uh, quite freely. But we're going to Drill here. Um, goes for a Toxic. Okay. Okay. Um, so he definitely anticipates. He anticipates I go for Earthquake. 100%. And he goes into Neuvern. 100% chance. So I go Rock Slide here. I go Rock Slide because he goes into Neuvern. You know, he, he definitely goes into Neuvern here. Uh, Eldritch Knights. Oh no, he goes Lorantis. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I hit the Rock Slide. How much does that do? That does not do enough. Um, this definitely goes for a fighting type move. So I go into Spirit Team. He goes for a fighting type move, I go to Spirit Team. He goes for... Uh, I'm not sure what the... I think he gets Jump Kick or something. But I go into Spirit Team here, predicting him to go for a fighting type move. Kind of wish I'd gone for Iron Head now, because Iron Head would have been a, a two-hit KO on this thing. Uh, but, you know, the Noi... <laughs> realistically, actually, Iron Head was the play. Uh, kind of kicking myself there, actually. Iron Head would have been better, because he's not going to have a Scarf Noivern with my team. He's not going to have Scott off Neuvern. I could have gone to Dragonite here, but I kind of want to conserve my um, my uh, Dragonite for as much as possible. Uh, for Lacey, he does withdraw. What does he go into here? Uh, Gloomstalker, which is the uh, Nido Queen. So we're going to see if this is physical or special. Just in case it's physical, I think I want to go for a Will O Wisp. I think. In case it's physical. If it's special, then it's going to probably do a lot of damage. I don't think it gets any fairy coverage. Um, he withdraws again. Okay. Way of the Fist. So if we can get a hit here on the burn, that will be huge. Yes. Okay. This um, Ashifu is not too much of a concern anymore. It's not too much of a problem anymore. Um, but the thing is here, uh, I cannot hit it very well. Um, part of me wants to switch out. Uh, I definitely know a Wicked Blow is coming here. I definitely want to switch out, but... Hold on, what does Spiritomb do? Let's just check what Spiritomb does. Uh, Spiritomb is a really good counter for the Age of Slash, so... Uh, I kind of want to go with Al Creamy here. Kind of, yeah, I think Al Creamy is a play here. Uh, he could definitely have Poison Jab here. He could definitely have Poison Jab. Um, he gets a Bulk Up. Okay. Okay. Um, right, okay, so we definitely could see... If you see the Iron Head here, we go down. Uh, actually, no, I... Hmm. Plus one Iron Head, I don't think would take me out. I'd have to go for Dazzling Gleam here because this thing is just too much of a concern. It is Poison Jab. My Kibia, yes, I predicted it right. Oh my god, that is fantastic. Uh, goes for the Poison Jab there. That doesn't do anywhere enough, near enough. And I get the Dazzling Gleam off. This thing should definitely go down. 100% uh, goes down. Okay, we're not going to get 6 0 which is fantastic. Uh, which is absolutely fantastic there. Uh, AG 100% comes in here. Uh, the AG Slash 100% comes in here. Uh, to deal with our creamy uh, gloomstalker okay the nido queen interesting um, I kind of want to just go psychic here what does our creamy do it doesn't wait it, it does deal with the Neuvern. It definitely deals with the Neuvern really well but at the same time I think going for Psychic here could be really good. If it's, if it's special, it is... Okay, here's Earth Power. Probably expecting me to go into... Um, into what's it called? Uh, I can't think what it's called. Uh, Exodrill. Uh, that doesn't do a lot. Um, now I kind of want to go into Drill, predicting a... Um, but this could be choice. I kind of, I kind of want to go for another psychic. I, I, I want to go into extra drill. 
He does withdraw. Okay, so probably goes to Eiji here. Uh, Ghost Slayer, okay. Um, that is fine-ish. So again, he's going to get a lot, of, a lot of health back here. I do get the special defense drop, and that is actually kind of good. Uh, that's kind of really good. Um, but I, do I want to switch out here? Do I want to just go straight into Spiritu? Or do... He's not going to try going for Toxic here. If he tries to go for Toxic, you know, Mystical Fire is probably my option here. Mystical Fire is probably the option. At least I definitely know. Okay, he goes into something else. Uh, Eldritch Knight. I can't think what the names are. Okay, he goes into the Lorantis. This is actually good for me. This is really good for me. Uh, I go for that Mystical Fire. It hits... I, I don't think it can not hit, uh, but you do take the Lorantas out. That's really good. Uh, it's a crit. I don't know if that mattered. That could have definitely mattered. Uh, literally, El Creamy with the crits today. The Creamy... No, that's that sounds weird. <laughs> like, that sounds really, really weird. Um, definitely could see uh, the AG come back in. But El Creamy's definitely putting in some work here. Uh, Gloomstalker comes back in, so it's the, uh, it is the Nido Queen. Do I just go? I don't, I'm, I'm debating going for Recover here. I'm also debating going for Psychic. I'm going for Psychic, screw it. If he goes to the Poison-type attack, then that's going to hit me hard. No, it hits me hard, that's fine. That is fine. Um, I live, what? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's incredible. Our creamy is bulky as all hell. And that takes the Nida Queen down. Wow. <laughs> wow. I am impressed, to say the least. I am impressed. 100% um, AG comes in and clicks Shadow Sneak. Uh, definitely comes in and clicks Shadow Sneak. Um, I'm not sure if I let our creamy go down here, though. Uh... But if he doesn't have Shadow Sneak on it, actually, if it's just a defensive variant, then I think I can just let out... Well... Noivern is definitely still a problem. Noivern is 100% still a problem. Uh, especially considering you can have Flamethrower. We've got the Alolan Ninetales, which hasn't even surfaced yet. And honestly, Scarf... Uh, this is the Alolan Ninetales. Oh no, it's the Noivern. Okay. Um, do I go... into anything here. I don't think I do. I think I say screw it and I go Dazzling Gleam in case he wants to try and do something weird. He's going to Dragon Dance here. Okay, yeah. So unless he is like Focus Sash, I think this is going to do a lot of damage. Um, so Dazzling Gleam here. I, did, I, I completely forgot that it got uh, Dragon Dance. Is that weakness policy? Oh my goodness. We might be, we might be done. Uh, we definitely might be done. Uh, uh, a plus three. Plus three. Uh, I don't think anything lives. I think he might have won. Uh, I fight and go for Dazzling Gleam here. Oh, actually, though, like, he does get Dual Wing Beat. Um, plus, three dual wing, plus three Dual Wing Beat. Does that take uh, Dragonite out? I kind of want to go Dragonite here. I don't think a plus three Dragon type attack is going to kill. And I think I just go straight for an attack. Because I have my multi scale. Um, and I just go straight for Ice Punch here. Because I don't think anything he does is going to necessarily take me out. And if it does, then I'm just completely screwed. Uh, it goes for Outrage. Oh, a plus three Outrage. That's not good. Uh, yeah, plus three Outrage. Flat takes me out on multi-scale, that is. That is the second week I've seen Outrage, and I never see Outrage. Um, resisted Excadrill, maybe? Um, yeah, he could be. Yeah, I think he just wins here. I think he possibly just wins here. Because um, he's stuck in with, with um, Northern here. Uh, it doesn't do enough. So my Iron Head should hopefully take it out. Uh, it does do enough. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Um, 
He has got the Alola Nine Tails and he's got the Aegis Slash left. Um, I think at this point I go into Spiritomb. Uh, I definitely can serve. In fact, I'm even going to go into I'm going to go into Rapidash here. I think I go into Rapidash. Um, yeah, I go into Rapidash and I probably live a hit unless he goes for Swords Dance. Uh, but I don't think a plus two Shadow Sneak will kill. If it does, then this thing's broken. It goes for a sub. Okay. Okay. Um, sub Toxic. Um, sub Toxic is fun. Uh, but, actually, Spiritomb is Infiltrator. So Spiritomb is Infiltrator. Um, I get high horsepower. I know it definitely does more than 25%. Um, so high horsepower here will hit uh, the AG hard. Uh, so high horsepower should definitely make the sub fade. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be concerned. Uh, okay, the sub does fade. I was like, oh my god, please tell me it fades. Uh, goes for toxic here. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, toxic damage is going to deplete me a little bit. Uh, he does get some health back again, which is annoying. But he's not faster than me, so I can't set up another sub. I he could possibly live another Flare Blitz. Uh, he might just go for... I'm shaking, because there is a possibility we win this match. He is going to go for the King Shield. That's annoying. Uh, I should have gone for High Horsepower. In fact, I think High Horsepower would have um, fingered me as well. Um, you know... At minus one... At minus one. So we see King Shield, Toxic, Sub, and then an attacking move. So he's definitely not a setup variant. I do just want to go Flare, flare Blitz here. Uh, he probably tries... Well, does he even try to set up another sub? At minus one, he probably sets up another sub. Um, that still does a ton of damage. A ton. In fact, he might not even be able to set up a sub here. He doesn't have enough. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness that means um, he either has to switch. Oh, he goes for King Shield here, though. He definitely goes for King Shield. Um, uh, he goes for King Shield. I go straight into Spirit Team here. I go straight into Spirit Team. Uh, he goes for the sub. He goes for the sub. And I just go um, Shadow Ball. Um, so King Shield, that's fine. Uh, oh, he used, he used Shadow Claw. Okay, interesting. Uh, that does a little bit of damage. That was a crit. He's getting crits as well. Um, but, you know, I think in this form, um, in this form, Shadow Ball. I go Shadow Ball here. Uh, he does withdraw. Okay, interesting. He does withdraw. Um, so Snow Warning, he could definitely try and set up the um, Aurora Veil here. Uh, we do see the Shadow Ball do does a decent amount of damage. Um, at this point, I either... I go into Rapidash, allowing it to potentially be sacked. Uh, the Aurora Veil here. Oh no, I don't go into Extra Drill yet. Um, Ice Shard could potentially take out uh, Extra Drill here. So Ice Shard is definitely a possibility to take out Extra Drill. Uh, it does go Moonblast here. Okay, I probably go down from the Toxic damage afterwards. Uh, yeah, I go down. Okay, that... Oh no, I survive, which means he has to either go for a, um, he's either forced to go for an Aurora Veil or an attacking, he, do, he doesn't even need to go do an attacking move actually. Um, freeze Dry, okay, so he does go Freeze Dry, well no, he's definitely not Scarf, so I definitely outspeed. Um, he's not gone for the Aurora Veil here. I just go into Drill and click Iron Head. So I guess drill and click an iron head. I know I'm faster. If he has ice shard, this causes me problems, potentially. If if he has ice shards um, for some priority, 
He does withdraw. He does withdraw. He goes into the Age of Slash. Um, which is back in its um, in its form there. I don't know how much Iron Head does. Not enough, annoyingly. Um, and I am hit by the hail. It's hit by the hail as well. Uh, but it does get left over as recovery. I kind of have to go into Spirit Tomb here. I kind of have to go Spirit Tomb. Um, I go into Spirit Tomb here. I have to. He could predict that and he could go for uh, Nine Tails. Um, he could be potentially trying to stall out the timer here. Um, as well. Realistically, he probably goes King Shield here. But he could definitely do the double switch. It is a mind game here. So I think he's trying to make a decision with this. Okay, so I don't know what he goes for. Does he go King Shield? If he goes King Shield, that is... Okay, he goes to Shadow Claw. That's fine-ish. Um, because that doesn't do enough to me. Um, Hail has stopped. Okay, we've got 60 seconds. There's almost... A, um, I think he has to switch here. He has to switch. Um, he has to switch. I have to go for Shadow Ball here. Um, he kind of has to switch. Otherwise, the uh, it goes down. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of annoying because I think actually if I went into uh, Extra Drill and I just clicked Earthquake, potentially I win at this point. Um, Shadow Ball. It connects. Um, not quite sure. We do get a crit. Oh my god, that crit actually I think might change things up. I think that is going to be so tight. It's... I don't know who's going to win. I don't know who's going to win. I mean, I click Shadow Ball again, don't I? Do I click Shadow Ball again? Surely I'll just click Shadow Ball again. i just click Shadow Ball again. He has Moonblast. I lose. I should have just stalled the timer then. I should have just timed it. Ah. Oh. You know, the annoying thing is, two more turns, I had that. You know, the really frustrating thing is, I click Earthquake now, and I win. Flat out, I just flat out win. That is so frustrating. Because I just click Earthquake right now, and I win. That is so annoying. That is... Oh my god, I had that. I am annoyed. Um, not by Quincy, obviously by the timer. That is so frustrating. That was my match. Oh my god. I should have just said... like I should have just stalled timer. Honestly. But yeah, you know what? I'm happy with that. That was a really, really, really good match. Honestly, that was fantastic. I don't care that I lost. Um, I know I should have won. Uh, with that Earthquake, double Earthquake from Scarf, if he, unless he had Ice Shard. If he had Ice Shard, he won. But oh my god, uh, that was a fantastic battle, that was fantastic Quincy. Um, you know, I think uh, we both made solid reads on each other's parts there. Um, and yeah, uh, honestly, honestly pretty, pretty darn good there. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, that's how we end off the TBL, obviously we haven't made it to playoffs. But that's how we end off. Uh, I think that was a brilliant match to end it off on, even though it was a loss. Uh, it was just a loss, and I'm going to check and see if he gets Ice Shard, or if he had Ice Shard. And if he didn't, then <laughs> it's so annoying because literally I was like, <sighs> yeah, he wouldn't have even been able to survive with Age Slash at that point. So yeah, um, there's, there's, there's no way unless he has Ice Shard. That was the only possible way that he could have won uh, there. So that's kind of annoying, but you know, GG, that's what happens. We've got the timer. Um, that didn't happen, but yeah, okay, he won, I should have, if I saw timer, I think I won as well, so I just made the one play that was a mistake, um, but yeah, that's it, uh, I really enjoyed this season, honestly, there's a lot of top tier players in the TBL, and it is incredible, um, just this, this kind of, um, competitive edge that I haven't really got in some other leagues, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it, and yeah, this is going to be the end for this one, obviously there is the RBL, the Raikou's Battle League, which is the double league, please do check out that series, that will be coming out on, over the weekends, uh, over the next coming weeks, so, 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you soon.